So in Python we can start the interactive shell. So we do that by typing Python and press enter. Then you see a lot of text showing the, the version, Python version. So actually version 3 is the most uh, popular or yeah, probably when you're watching this you have uh, running version 3.x or something. Or maybe you still have a version 2. And then you see some more information like uh, the operating system you're using and uh, yada yada yada. So uh, in this Python uh, interactive shell we can type uh, formulas or whatever. Uh, more complicated things. Um, let's do this. And uh, we can uh, use variables directly as well. Um, and we can import modules. So we can basically uh, interact with Python. Uh, but this is not the way to write programs. It's something you have to keep in mind. So we can ex exit this by pressing the control button and Z. And you would exit the program by uh, having a text file which is saved as a .py file. So anything like uh, hello world program .py. So this is the, the input, then this is your file name. So always save as .py and when you press enter uh, the program will be executed and you can type anything you want. So if you prefer a more uh, easy way to, to do programming, uh, there are several editors such as PyCharm, uh, PyEDA, uh, you can even use Atom with some plugin or uh, many more type of Python IDEs. So this is short for Integrated Desktop Environments, which is some kind of rich editor to, to do editing. So you don't have to go into the console and type these commands all the time. You can simply press the, the run button and, and you have some uh, extra features like uh, coloring of the words which is known as syntax highlighting and, and so on. So I really recommend you install PyCharm or another editor uh, to do your Python programming.